So I'd just like to first thank you so much for sitting down and having a little chat with me. It is I who thanks you. Well, lots to talk about. So the first thing I wanted to t discuss a little bit is, you know, right now empowerment of youth and empowerment of women is so big. How important do you think it is to have a platform for youth and a platform for young women especially to share their voices and their stories? Well, it's a great question because giving a platform to youth, I think, I think youth is leading today. Young people are not leading tomorrow. It's now that it's happening. And to give them a platform is essential not only for them to bring you know, up their voices and raise their voices, but for us to listen as people, as governments, as, as families, as parents, as friends. We need to listen uh, about youth's concerns, where they want to go, what are they dreaming about, and how we can make that happen with them, for them, because they'll be raising the next generation of, of our boys and girls, and there's so much you know, more work to be done. Talking about equality and awareness, um, one thing I want to ask you is how do you think that the average Canadian can bring equality into their daily life? The average Canadian can bring equality in their daily life with baby steps, with small change. And I see it happen everywhere. The little actions that human beings, you know, take in their daily lives can make a huge difference in the long run. So I encourage everybody to take those baby steps to get either engaged in your community or in your school, or even to change the level of language that you have towards yourself, more compassion, more love, more openness, more patience, and towards others. Just that creates a micro change that can lead to huge change. What is your favorite part about being a Canadian? My favorite part about being a Canadian? <laughs> well, there's multiple parts. The great outdoors, because I'm super sporty and active. But I would say that it's, um, it's having the deep knowledge that we live in a country where everything is possible and where we need to be responsible for one another. And we can do that. So that we can lift people up and never leave anybody behind. But it takes patience, it takes hard work, and it takes great intention. So what is one thing now that you've learned that you would tell your teenage self? Wow, the things I would tell my teenage self that I know now, so many things. Um, my body is a temple. I need to know it, respect it love it and be at peace with it as it will carry me through life through adversity through forests through hardship um, through mountains literally and metaphorically and also to be patient with myself to not be afraid to explore who am i why do i react this way um, i would also bring attention to what i pay attention to what do i pay attention to in my daily life because we become what we pay attention to what do I give my energy to and who do I give my energy to and why? And what feels right is probably right. What feels wrong is probably wrong. Listen to your intuition. You know, I think that's really great advice. I'm actually going to take that advice. I hope you do. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much once again for sitting down. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.